What's up everybody, welcome to part two of three videos on how to use Marmalade effectively to get more sales on Etsy and to better your Etsy SEO. My name is Dave. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I do new videos all the time on Etsy, e-commerce, and personal success. This is part two. However, if you are landing on this video, go back, go in the description and watch part one because that's how numbers work. One, two, three, making three videos for this Marmalade series. Also, if you're considering getting Marmalade, please consider to do so through my affiliate link. I'll get a tiny little commission. You won't pay a penny more and it'll help support my channel. Awesome. So in the last video, we talked about how to use the search function, the most powerful function on Marmalade, the biggest, you know, the big hurrah of Marmalade period. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to make long tail keywords and also how to you know, start to just form them with our, with Marmalade without having any knowledge of, of a keyword. I have no knowledge of, of the slime keyword. I did a video in the past, but I don't, I definitely do not remember any of the slime, hot slime keywords, I promise you. So this will be all freestyle and it'll be demonstrating on how easy it is to form long tail keywords with Marmalade and how awesome Marmalade is as well. So without further ado, I will stop talking your ear off and we'll get right into it. So at the top here, let me scroll to the top. For some reason, Marmalade goes slow when I get my whole screen going on my iMac here. Um, so anyway, here's the top. We typed in slime. We see the engagement is good. Green, green, red. As I said in the past videos, do not worry about red. So we're going to go to the bubble. We're going to get what I said in the past video is super true. If you're trying to get out of the box, you need to get into the bubble. If you're, you know, with your SEO thinking, you want to get out of the box and into this bubble right here. So slime is the middle one, obviously, and it has a bunch of related keywords around it. So I see a few that I like. I like glitter slime. I like Let's see. I like glitter slime. I like cloud slime. And I like cheap slime. I want some cheap slime, baby. Okay, so we're going to take those over to comparison, which is a really, you know, it's it's just search. It's just search four times in a row without all of those metrics. So we're going to do glitter slime. We're going to do cloud slime. And this is a really great way to check all of the keywords at the bottom all at once. So you can you don't have to wait for just one keyword to load and look at all of the metrics and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, really fast. Cloud slime. What else? I think I've seen party slime. I like that one. And then cheap slime. We want some cheap slime. Forgot about that. Okay, so here we go. Glitter slime, it's not popping. We ain't going to go with the glitter slime, which kind of surprises me, honestly. I would think that glitter would be hot, you know, with slime, two, like, really popular things. I don't know. Party slime, cloud slime, glitter slime, and cheap slime, not really doing it for us. But here's an example of orange, orange, green. This one would be just fine to use because it's not necessarily bad. It, people are definitely searching it. And it, there's not much competition. So we're going to keep cloud slime because these keywords are cool too. Because if you can dominate this, if you can dominate this market for cloud slime, then you have a ton of less competition. So we're going to get rid of party slime, glitter slime, cheap slime. Nobody wants cheap slime. We want the luxury slime. I'm just going to, I just, I'm just going to look it up. I'm sorry. Luxury slime. Let's see if it's a thing. I have like shredded up Gucci shoes in it or something. Nobody wants luxury slime. Just kidding. So we're going to go back to search. We're going to go back to the bubble. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so cloud slime. I've seen that slime party ideas, birthday invitation. I don't know what that has to do with slime. Uh, cheap slime. Slime queen. Um, butter slime. Ugh. Okay, uh, butter slime. I'm going to put bring that one over. We're going to bring over scented slime. Um, <laughs> Valentine's slime. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to do, what did I say? Scented slime, butter slime, 
Valentine slime. Do I spell scented right? Scented slime? Butter slime. Uh-oh, what was it? Valentine slime. Man, nobody wants scented slime. What happened? Butter slime comes through. Okay, no Valentine slime. So now we have two that we're keeping over here. So this is how we're going to farm a long tail keyword. Stick around because I'm I'm not we're not getting to that point yet, but we need to combine a few keywords and find good ones to combine them in the way that I will show you in a second. So we're going to get rid of these guys. We're going to go back to the bubble. Okay. Instagram slime. Why? What is Instagram slime? I don't know. Instagram slime, birthday invitation, slime Australia, slime ed oh, edible slime? No. Yeah, let's look it up. Instagram slime and edible slime. All right. I hope they're both good. No. It's not Instagram slime. What happened? And then another cool feature, you guys, is if you're ever using this, you know, comparison section, you can click down here and it'll bring it'll it'll put that keyword into the 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 full search function, which is fun. Kawaii sprinkles, scented slime, and also you'll see some good uh, suggestions in here as well. See right here, fluffy slime. I didn't even see that in the bubble. So let's check out fluffy slime. Fluffily, what? Fluffy, fluff, brain fart, slime. Just kidding. Okay. Butter slime is good. Edible slime, we're, we're getting rid of. Slime shop. Cheap slime. Butter slime. Cloud slime. Fluffy slime. The best one so far, you guys. Excellent. And remember, these, I'm pretty sure all of these would have been really, really good, like a year or two ago because slime was way more popular as you seen in the first video I showed you guys right here. I made a video in September of 2019 and just the word slime. Look at the metrics right here. If you can see that on your screen, 363,000 searches with 2.9 million engagement. That's huge compared to what slime is bringing in right now. Just slime is at like 2000. That's crazy how, how it's decreased. I, I, what has happened have, have 12 year old girls stopped making so many slime videos on YouTube? I'm not sure, but it decreased in popularity. That's all we know. And that's all we care about because we are looking at the data so we can sell stuff. That's the, that's the beauty of it. We don't care. So anyway, um, so slime birthday, let's look up slime birthday. I keep seeing birthday stuff. So why not? Slime birthday and birthday slime. Maybe we'll try that. But after this, you know, after we find a good keyword here, we're going to, I'll show you how to form a good keyword or a long phrase keyword. Okay. Slime birthday. Forget about it. We're, we're, we're not going to no slime birthday party. So, so we don't need to worry about it. So anyway, you guys, this is how I form long, long tail keywords. So we have two, we have, I want you to think in terms of adjective and noun. So we have fluffy cloud and butter as our adjectives. We have slime as our noun. So obviously, you know, you don't want to like re repeat yourself over and over and over because you want to keep room in your title for even more or new nouns along with those other adjectives. So the easiest way to do that is go fluffy, cloud, butter slime. That is how you would form a long tail keyword. Now, remember, it is not going to show up great in Marmalade whatsoever. Nobody's typing this full thing in here because the variations of all the different customer searches are going to vary so much. The variations, of course, are going to vary so much. Sorry. The, there's going to be so many variations of the search phrase that this long tail keyword will get you in front of. 
Okay. So fluffy cloud butter slime is not being searched specifically too often. But when you combine this in your keyword, or in your title, you're saving space, you're not repeating the noun, and in your tags, this is the important part, in your tags, you want to do it like this. So it would look like this in your tags. It would be fluffy slime cloud slime and butter slime. Okay, that's what it would look like in your in your tags. But in your title, it would say fluffy cloud butter slime. Okay, so this is just one long tail keyword that we found. So that is what we formed today, all with good keywords, all with good tags into one quote unquote long tail keyword. So that was it for part two, you guys. The whole idea behind this concept of forming the long tail is that each adjective in it will match up with slime. Every adjective in here will match up with slime in, in a shop, in a real life shopping situation where somebody types in cloud slime. Etsy's algorithm will match it up with the title. And then since you have it exactly matched in the tags, you're, you're getting in front of that shopper's search without jamming up your title with slime a million times or whatever your noun will be. Your noun might be pendant. Your noun might be soap. Whatever it is, you, you just don't want to jam it in there so many times that you're wasting space and looking lame for just keyword stuffing. So you get an exact match and you get matched up with the algorithm, shuffling things around to match it for that customer. So guys, if you have any questions, please comment below, hit like on this video, subscribe, and watch part three. Have a nice day.